Welcome everyone. My name is Manindar Singh Sambi. I'm a Vice President for Cloud Networking here at Google Cloud. I'm joined here today by Anupam Upadhyay, who's a Vice President at Palo Alto Networks. Welcome Anupam, it's a pleasure having you today. Manindar, great being here. Thank you. We're discussing the evolution of enterprise networking and how GCP is playing a pivotal role. But first, Anupam, could you tell us a bit about your organization and the role that Palo Alto plays in this broader cybersecurity market? Palo Alto, our motto is to be the cybersecurity partner, preferred cybersecurity partner for our customers, protecting their digital way of life. And what that really means is providing AI-powered security across the entire stack. And we can break our offerings into three pillars. One is network security, second is cloud security, third is SOC for security operations, and all of that is powered by a common threat intelligence module, which we call Unit 42. And that is what comprises AI-powered cybersecurity from Palo Alto. It's all about AI. I mean, the amount of AI growth that we are seeing on Google Cloud is amazing, it's phenomenal. Obviously, the security threats that come with it are gonna be even more sophisticated. Yeah. But let's first talk about cross-cloud network, and especially around the value of extending cross-cloud network to the enterprise with Cloud Van. It boils down to about four big capabilities that we're launching. First, imagining everything simply, simple. Our customers will be able to actually use a single platform to manage their network security, and Cloud Van does just that. Second, our customers need to know that they're protected. Similar approach that Palo Alto has taken from a platform approach. We want to make sure that security is consistent, it's robust across the entire WAN network. And when I say WAN, it's not just the interconnect or the internet, but anywhere a user is connecting, whether from their home, from a coffee shop, or in the branch or campus environment, they should be able to come to Cloud WAN, use our ISV partners that we have from a SASE perspective, especially Prisma Access, and be able to manage all the SASE integration with Prisma SASE product. Third, we all know performance matters. Imagine optimizing traffic, reducing latency, and enhancing the user experience through the Google global network. That's what we deliver. And fourth, enterprises need to move fast. They need to deploy new applications, especially AI applications and services quickly. With the confidence that their network is secure, solid, and globally available, we will be able to provide exactly that. As customers look at connecting all the different type of users and data that is connecting either to a cloud application or SaaS application, they need Prisma SASE. You heard me talk about Cloud WAN. Would love to hear your thoughts on how Prisma SASE integrates with Cloud WAN and provides that ubiquitous access. Yep, one of the, uh, as you know, Prisma SASE is in the business of securely connecting any user to any application. Users could be at home, connect over internet, could be in branches, consuming internet, or consuming applications on cloud. And today, organizations have this humongous task of connecting users to a colo, then from colo, figuring out how to securely connect to the cloud, figuring out how to securely connect to the cloud applications and workloads. And that has tremendous operational complexity. That is, that has, is costly, is frustrating, and most importantly, does not have uniform security controls. Fragmented. It's fragmented, that's exactly it. If you do not take a platform approach, that's what you get, you get fragmentation. And I think that's where they're, the power of both these companies coming together, Google Cloud and Palo Alto Networks, what it allows us is to provide that seamless, uniform, and a platform setting approach for securely connecting users, whether they're in branches, in, on the internet, in a coffee shop, to applications in the cloud, or on the internet. And I think there's one more value, Manindar. If you're thinking about workloads, if you're thinking about workloads, uh, providing performance access to workloads with security, there's a great opportunity here. This is where you can put your workloads on Google Cloud, uh, securely inspect that through Prisma Access, and extend that performance and security for apps in Google Cloud as well. Perfect. As Anubam, you've already always told me, gone are the days when customers are gonna deploy point products especially from a security perspective, to secure point solutions. Yes. Because the threat landscape is changing dynamically. Yes. Right from the user, either they're connected from branch, campus, or the internet, to workloads, and bringing AI to the mix makes it even much more complex. It's all about AI. I mean, the amount of AI growth that we are seeing on Google Cloud is amazing, it's phenomenal. Obviously, the security threats that come with it are gonna be even more sophisticated. When 
people think about interacting with large language models, there are two problems. One is, are you sharing data that you should not be? And are you getting compromised? This is where our stack, which has, again, like I said, platformization approach, consistent security, consistent policy, provides you security not just for how you interact with, with the large language models, but how do you present data? So Prisma SASE gives you AI-powered URL filtering, DNS security, threat protect, wildfire, CASB, AI access to protect your data, your AI applications, your users, while maintaining a very high bar of performance powered by Google Cloud. But can you tell me a bit more about how does Prisma Access, Prisma SASE protect SaaS applications? Yeah. So look, uh, there are two ways of uh, uh, protecting SaaS applications. One is inline, things that you see inline. Second is through API interactions that SaaS applications have with other applications. Prisma Access provides you protection for both. And again, like you said, it, it's real time or near real time powered by AI. And that is important, right? When you think about data, that data could be dog data. Especially in the world of AI, Manander, where data is being thrown onto AI tools, it's very hard to categorize data because they're not landing in places that they should. So the ability to categorize data, do dog data discovery, and provide the right policies on top of that becomes very important. And this is where CASP from Prisma Access, powered by Google Cloud, provides that consistent discovery of applications, posture for applications, security for applications, and security for data, both API and inline. Wow. So not only can we protect sanctioned apps with the uh, CASB API example that you gave, but also a lot of enterprises, we use unsanctioned, unto uh, tolerated unsanctioned apps is, I think, the industry word. You'll be able to extend that with CASB inline to identify, discover it, do the posture, and be able to apply policies on it. And along the way, you talked about data, and what we hear from our AI customers, especially customers who are using AI agents or using AI ML models, data is their IP. Yes. They have to protect data, so all the PII controls, all the data protection that you're going to provide. So this is a single platform that goes from traditional security controls that have also evolved with using AI, protecting SaaS applications, as well as protecting the data that goes along. Correct. Now, can you tell me more about Prisma as event? Because it's also very important to get access or connectivity from a branch and a campus into the cloud in a secure manner. Now, coming to branches, we think about Prisma as Tvan as an on-ramp to Prisma Access. Its job is to make sure that it provides high performance kind of connectivity between the branch and our security solution, which runs in the branch. Right? And since the network stack is common in the Prisma SD-WAN solution and the Prisma Access solution, it makes it very easy to do app-aware routing. If you have an SD-WAN from us, running on top of Google WAN, connecting back to Colo, where you have Google Cloud, running Prisma Access, now you have a simplified policy structure that allows you to optimize applications and also provide the right security posture, whether those are AI apps or non-AI apps. And you can extend that same construct, Molinder, even beyond branch to mobile users who are coming on the internet and accessing the same applications. So you do have an agent on your mobile users yes. as well? Wow. And since we talked about on-ramps, Molinder, we talked about agents, we talked about branches, and then there is this unmanaged devices. We also have a Prisma Access browser which acts as an on-ramp, again back to Prisma Access, to extend the same AI-powered security to unmanaged devices and providing endpoint DLP controls for AI applications for unmanaged devices. For our customers, I'm sure they're wondering, with this partnership coming together and the integration, what are three things that you would leave behind for our customers and the listeners? Yep, one of the first thing. Prisma SASE provides you consistent security with a unified policy across all users managed, unmanaged, or in a branch, and for all applications. Whether they are AI applications, app SaaS applications, private applications, or internet. So that's point one. Second, when you think about our partnership, when you think about high speed, high bandwidth, high performance, low latency, SLA-backed, that is where the power of Google Backbone and Prisma SaaS come together to provide that higher performance. And look, both of these can be real hard from an operational standpoint. And this is where we as partners, Palo Alto and Google Cloud have come together to simplify this for you with a simplified pane of glass and unified policies. Thank you, Anupam. It's great having you here and you talking to our viewers 
on how the partnership is coming together. I would like to thank you for coming here. Thank you for having me, Manindar.